Digikey is on a mission to make technology accessible to everyone, to bridge the gap between hardware and software, democratize the world of electronics, and inspire the next generation of STEM programs. In this three-part series brought to you by SupplyFrame, Digikey, and Microchip Technology, we follow the path of students, educators, entrepreneurs, startups, and the makers of tomorrow. In this episode, we learn how entrepreneurs from very different markets utilize the Arduino hardware, software, and open source community to take their products to the next level. First, we met with Matt Johnson, the founder and CEO of Bear Conductive. He described to us how important the Arduino community was in the development of his new product. My first exposure to microcontrollers was really exciting. It was also a humongous pain in the ass. Suddenly, when I was introduced to Arduino, I got access to an easier to use device, but more importantly, to a wide knowledge base of people whose code I could easily modify. And that, that's what totally changed my approach to computer science and to working with microcontrollers. Air Conductive is a printed electronics company, so we make a conductive ink. We also make hardware that allows you to turn that conductive ink into a sensor. Arduino and Bear Conductive was an amazing fit from the beginning. You know, we started prototyping simple circuits connected to the analog inputs of an Arduino. People in our community were using the CapSense library on an Arduino to turn pads of our paint into buttons. So things like uh, making interactive walls, uh, making games, you would touch the paint and then some sort of event would happen. I also think that there's a misconception somehow that Arduino is um, not a serious development platform. People expect that engineers always benefit from complexity, but in fact what we see and what we have experienced internally is that the fact that Arduino is so easy to work with helps speed up our development. We're able to test new ideas quicker and develop them into new products quicker because it's so easy to work with. Arduino is so easy to use, it's very inexpensive, and anybody can do it. You don't need to be an electrical engineer to be able to go onto the Arduino IDE and make an LED blink. The sensors that are available to go onto the board, the different boards that are available with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the barrier to entry is minimal. It's so important. Being able to get into the market for minimal cost is what has really excelled Arduino into the market. We're seeing a lot more deployment of Arduino boards because they've gotten smaller and more powerful that you don't need to transform that to you know a production grade platform you can just go ahead and deploy the Arduino boards uh, in the field. Next we spoke to Rainer van der Lee, the creator of Vinduino. He walked us through his vineyard and explained how he turned his passion for wine into a hardware company for agriculture. So the story starts when I purchased the vineyard in 2010 and soon after that, we had a multi-year drought in California. I was uh, talking with the local farmers here about how they irrigate it. We're, we're basically growing grapes in the desert. You cannot do it without irrigation. The plants will die. One of the things I, I looked into was, can I use an Arduino board to measure soil moisture? In order to increase the, the quality of the, of the grapes, some growers and winemakers prefer to uh, to stress the vines a little bit, so give them less water than they absolutely need. So uh, management of ET or evapotranspiration is a very important part of creating quality wines. When I was uh, looking into irrigation as a problem of my own, there were so solutions available in the market, but they were just not affordable for small growers like, like I am. So uh, my vineyard here uh, is, is five acres, which uh, is, is basically a very small vineyard size. Looking into open source technology like Arduino really helped me uh, you know, create a solution that is affordable. And it started as a hobby, eventually it turned into a company. I want to share with you uh, where the water comes in. So um, this water meter is connected to this Vinduino station. It counts the pulses, so every pulse is one gallon and the run time are, uh, cal is calculated every day based on the weather information. Being open source helped me to get to market sooner because there's uh, hardware available that you can use for prototyping and there's also a lot of uh, open source or public domain software. In order to create a product for today's ever-shifting market, startups need to be quick on their feet. Arduino's ability to provide rapid prototyping, quick iterations and unparalleled collaboration offers an edge for the startups of today and tomorrow. 